welcome back to my YouTube channel. But if you're new here, my name is Brittany and I'm a Chicago-based lifestyle content creator. So if you haven't watched my Stockholm travel vlog yet, obviously you should do that. But if you did, then you know that I did quite a bit of record shopping while I was just in Stockholm a few weeks ago. Like Stockholm is famously the birthplace of pop music. And honestly, the record stores were really, really good there. I have shared like my full vinyl collection or at least my current full vinyl collection on my channel already. And like, I've just been getting into collecting records since the end of last year and it's now like May. So I'm only like five months in, but I got a little carried away while I was in Stockholm. Um, but like, like I said, there were so many record stores that had a lot of good stuff there was a lot of like rap albums which i feel like i don't see as often like older or i guess like more just like a variety of different types of like rap albums which i feel like i never see and then the pricing was really good on a lot of albums like i feel like even some of the new stuff that i got seemed like a good price but in general a lot of the older like used albums some of them were like five dollars eight dollars that is a little bit of that does have to do with the fact that the krona or the us dollar is a little higher than the krona anyway all that to say i feel like i got a good value for i just I, like as we were in there i was like oh i need this i need this i need this so it was a, and it was like a fun way to like get souvenirs to like throughout the trip so without further ado let's dive into this haul and i'm gonna share everything that i got so we went to a total of i believe seven record stores yeah seven record stores so i, I kind of divided these back up by like what i got from each store just to maybe give people an idea too if you happen to be shopping in stockholm like what you can find at each one of them so okay starting with this was actually the last record store that i yeah this was the last one i went to it was a store called bengen's i think that's how you pronounce it um and we i even got this like nice little bag i mean i paid for it i think it was it was less than a dollar like 60 cents or something like that anyway this was kind of in the like the touristy ish area that we were staying in kind of by like the central station like peak tourist area but what i got there was dua lipa's new album radical optimism which i feel like people have been saying that this album is a flop i like it i'm not like a dua stan necessarily and maybe that helped me like go into it with no expectations like i hadn't even really heard any of the singles but i mean as we all know there are so many pop albums coming out this year and so basically like when each what has been dropping like i've been trying to listen to them like on the friday that they come out just so that i can listen to it without like hearing people's a lot of people's thoughts on them or anything and i just i, I pretty much listen every like big release that's come out this year i've listened to it and so when i listened to radical optimism i was like oh i like this and then when i was reading a lot of people's thoughts online it was not the same as mine but i thought it i liked it it was really like it was a really fun listen it feels like a very like much like a summer album and i like the vibe of it is like very much like dua lipa i feel like like uh, like a disco like a new new wave disco type of like feel and this is the european press so it's on red recycled vinyl um so i got this there and then the other album that i got there that this feels like a deep deep cut i was like just scrolling through this section and i saw this and i was like oh i feel like i need this but it's britney spears this is actually my first britney vinyl but this is britney spears in the zone and this is also the eu press which this was just released in the in europe last year for the first time ever on vinyl and this is on a blue vinyl and this is still brand new so like i haven't even i haven't listened to any of these yet i literally just got back from my trip yesterday but this is pressed on blue vinyl excited to have this i know britney vinyl is not i feel like it's not like as common to find these days but i like to find in general but this was 289 krona which i think comes to about like 25 dollars so not bad for like new vinyl and that duo one was 339 krona so about like just around 30 dollars usd i believe okay so that's everything that i got from bengen's and then all of these for the most part i got um everything that i got are used albums except for those two and then one of the ones that i got from and then at another store called pet sounds that we went to i had got a new album there too but then otherwise everything else that i'm going to share is used vinyl so that new album that i got is anderson pack malibu this came out in 2016 and my sister actually randomly recommended this to me like i want to say it was the week before i went on my trip and so i downloaded it to listen to on the plane and i was like oh i love this because she was like oh this is a really good album and i think you'd like it and so i listened to it like from start to finish and i was obsessed and so then i just happened to see it in one of the first record stores we went in and i picked it up and i want to say again this was under 30 dollars and this album i actually was reading about it and it's like not it's not being prepped it's kind of like basically hard harder to find in that like it's not being 
being repressed i think there's something about like a sample on it that like didn't get cleared i don't know there seems like something random is going on but all that to say like when i bought this they're like oh this is the last copy we have so it felt like fate for me to get it whatever or at least that's like what i told myself and it is a really really good listen i think and is this on oh no this is just on yeah it's just on black vinyl all right and then so that was my last like new album so then i also got we are the world which this like no music collection is complete without this i actually just watched a couple of months ago the netflix documentary what is it called the greatest night in pop music that is about the recording of we are the world which i kind of forgot that like about this song until i watched that and i was like oh yeah and it, uh, watching that documentary too gave me a lot of appreciation for this like song in itself because like getting all these people together they literally recorded it in one night it was crazy so shout out to lionel richie and quincy jones and michael jackson well really lionel richie and quincy jones for like putting it all together i guess yeah michael jackson was a co-writer too um but this also has nine other yeah includes nine uh, previously unreleased songs so again i haven't listened to this yet and it's by people that are on oh except for there's a song from prince on here and he famously was not on the on the track because that was like a part of the documentary but there's like a song from chicago huey lewis and the news steve perry the pointer sisters prince and the revolution kenny rogers bruce springsteen and the e street band tina turner um and then the northern lights and then the actual like we are the world song too so excited to listen to that and then i went to the abba museum while i was in stockholm and then i immediately left being abba's number one fan so that i needed to get like their albums and we i actually looked for so arrival is what one of the abba albums that i picked up and i looked at this in the abba gift shop and they were actually out of it and it was like 30 something dollars so i was like oh whatever that's fine but like i said when i left i was like oh i need that album because this is the one with dancing queen on it but then i found it at a record store for it was for 99 krona so that's about like i think eight dollars and and i will say to you all of these used records like sam and i were both my, my my friend sam that i was on this trip with we were both just shocked at how everything all of the stores were like immaculately organized and the fact that there were so many of them that had such great picks and like we could walk to and from most of these like pretty easily and they all were just like in really good condition like a lot of these like some of these looked like mint and they're from like the 70s so um so anyway all that to say this i felt like was in really good condition and then the last album that i got from pet sounds was diana ross and the supreme's greatest hits so there were i will say like probably five different diana ross and the supreme's greatest hits albums that i saw this one is from 1967 so i mean this was not early-ish in their career but in the midst of their career but motown loves putting out a greatest hits album so excited to listen to this if you watched my vinyl like my um my walkthrough of my full collection you know that i do love diana ross so okay so that was from pet sounds then one of the next stores we or this isn't necessarily an order of the stores that we went to but another store that we went to was record mania and so the way that we found all of these store or like that we decided on where to go is i honestly think we looked on a little bit on tiktok and i got a few recommendations and then i just kind of like looked on google maps to just search like record stores and some of them that we went to though like they weren't on our list and we were just literally like we would walk down the street and there was another random record store to go into but anyway tiktok was is like a good place to look if you're trying to find record stores while you're on like um a trip but anyway these next three albums are from record mania and this one is the black panther soundtrack so this is the this is the eu version which so i was kind of curious like as i was seeing like the european like so obviously never gone record shopping in europe before but like when i was looking on discogs like scanning each of these in and just like looking like oh is this worth it i was noticing that most of the time people are saying that the european editions sound better than like the u.s ones or tend to sound better and it, it's just because they're pressed at different plants and what people say i don't know any of this but or like i can't obviously speak to this firsthand but that at like eu or plants versus U us ones are tend to be like better quality control so they just end up sounding better but anyway this is the black panther soundtrack again used but this is in like literally i would say close to mint condition granted this album's only like six years old at this point but it was 200 krona which is about like i think 18 dollars something like that so I feel like every time I see this album, I only have been seeing it new most places and it's like in the 30-ish dollar range, if not more. But I like, I really like the Black Panther album. It's got a lot of good songs on it. So, okay, so that's 
that was from record mania this is an okay another thing that was just kind of funny too is as i was picking these things up so i have a, a discogs like profile where that's where i keep a lot of my like i mean i add to my collection when i buy things but then i also it helps me keep track of like what's on my wish list and i wasn't even looking at my wish list i was literally just scrolling through the bins and picking stuff up but then afterwards i think like 90 percent of these records were actually on my wish list so i was like okay good i was getting things like that i wanted to get anyway and this one i say that because this next album was one that i like i i like have been wanting to get and i just hadn't gotten my hands on it yet but that is stevie wonder songs in the key of life and again this is something that's in very very good condition and i think this is an original oh yeah this is a 19 the 1976 release uh, again like a european version so this is 180 krona and so that's like 15 like maybe 16 dollars something like that and it also comes with this bonus seven inch single and it, i think a booklet it's oh yeah but not the booklet yeah so it even comes with this little seven inch single which is kind of fun so that's an album i was excited to get and then this is my last one that i got from record mania and it is queen latifah all hail the queen so this is yeah this is her first lp from 1989 so oh yeah it does have mama gave birth to the soul children with de la soul but ladies first i feel like it's the most like well-known well to me like the most well-known song from this so i'm excited to have this too actually all three of those were on my i know those were on my wish list these next two are from actually i need to check my notes this is a store that we just sam and i stumbled into and i think we were getting breakfast and just like walking around walking back to the train and we just saw this record store and i believe it's called i don't know if i'm pronouncing this right but stockholm siri skiv handle skiv handle and we were just again kind of looking around i wasn't in the mood to buy anything but then i saw some good stuff and the man that worked there was so nice so i was just like i want to give him my business but i got queen hot space so this has like under pressure and cool cat on it which cool cat was actually like this a single of cool cat was on record store day for this year and i kind of thought about getting it but i didn't and now i'm glad i didn't because i have the full album now and this was 250 krona so what like 20 something dollars and this is literally like feels like it's in mint condition it's kind of crazy okay so i got that from there and then i got the grease soundtrack and this was 100 krona so again like under 10 dollars usd and this is something that also feels like it's in like excellent condition okay and then oh again back to the abba obsession waterloo i got this from i think this store was called snickers records yeah this one was from snickers so i mean this i read the main song i know on here is waterloo and then honey honey i think yeah that one but all abba is just so fun and then I again especially after going to the museum i was just in such like an abba mood and I've, I've said this before in my overall like my record collection video i love like the 70s disco dance era so count me in all right a couple classics that i picked up i believe this was from a store called alpha vinyl yeah this is from a store called alpha vinyl and the everything in this store was on sale it was all like it was like if under a certain amount was like 50 percent off and then over a certain amount was like 20. so the two things i got were 20 percent off so i got the wiz soundtrack which again another classic and this one is the only one that is slightly like I feel like damage i guess you could say i mean this was another thing that was on my wish list i love the whiz but inside the gatefold it's kind of like stuck together a little bit at the bottom but i think i can probably get that do something to like get that to come apart so then i can like fully open it up because we've got like the whole yellow brick road and everything on the inside but otherwise it's in really good condition so this was 199 krona and then like 20 percent off so still like somewhere in the teens in terms of dollars and then another broadway classic dream girls like the original the original broadway cast so like with cheryl lee ralph jennifer holiday loretta divine like the og cast so it's, again another classic and this one is in really great condition and this was 175 krona at 20 percent off so what like 12 dollars or something like that and i think this is like an original press from oh yeah from 1982 so pretty old. Okay, then the last place we went to, well, not the last, but the last, my last little bit of records are from, what was this store called? Oh, this was called Jungle and Jazz. And the, I'm gonna include a picture 
I'll try to include a picture on the screen because the like motto that they had on the outside of the door was such a vibe. So records, plants, and life was like the subtitle, I guess, of this store. But it was like such a vibe when you walked in there. Like there was just like plants kind of like these everywhere. It was like immaculately organized. And I think they had like jazz playing, but it was a curated mood bonanza is what they like call the store. And it, it truly was a curated mood bonanza, but there were some heavy hitters like in there. So what brought us, so they had like, and this is again, a store we just kind of were walking by and stumbled into. So they had like crates outside, which I noticed almost every record store had like crates outside that were like the $1 bins or whatever. But I was like, I don't know. I don't think this would fly in America. These would be gone. But Stockholm is just like such a sweet and wholesome place, it felt like. But as we were looking through those bins, and this store had a ton of wrap in it and like a good variety of wrap. But this was so The Way I Live by Baby Boy the Prince um, featuring Lil Boozy. It's just a single. So it has like the radio version, the instrumental version. And then I think like the explicit version because there's something on the on the side B. Yeah, the explicit version. I mean, I do like this song. Did I need this on vinyl? Question mark, but it was a dollar. So I felt like this will just be so fun to listen to. So I got that and then I don't remember if, oh no, this was one of the first things I found inside too. And so this was 50 krona, so like under $5. Romeo Must Die de promo. So this is the promo album, not even the full like actual album. So it only has four songs on it. It has two songs on side A and two songs on side B. I don't remember ever hearing this album, uh, like the soundtrack, I guess I should say. I've obviously saw Romeo Must Die, RIP to Aaliyah, baby girl. And when I was listening to it though, like I was like, I have not heard a lot of these songs or a couple of like, there's a Destiny's Child song on here, Perfect Man. That's, I mean, like there's more songs on the full soundtrack but this is just on the promo so there's a sound a uh, song by destiny's child called perfect man that i thought i'd heard every single i that i knew every destiny's child song i guess not um because i hadn't heard that one before and it's on this like cool red vinyl um but i just that was just like so random and i was like i have to get this so i got that and then i also got this album christmas wrap like, the wrap is cut off by the sticker or yeah, so Christmas wrap and it's obviously a Christmas album which I only have one Christmas album so far and I've been wanting to grow my Christmas selection so this obviously has like Christmas and Hollis from Run DMC and then to be honest all of these other songs I don't think I've ever heard before is this something that was only no this was like in the U.S. at some point too so I've never heard any of these other songs before that I know of but I'm sure I'll like it um and so yeah this was like a hundred oh 125 krona so probably about 10-ish dollars. And then the last album that I got from there was Janet Jackson, Rhythm Nation. And this was $120, so, or 120 krona, about $10. And this is again in very good collection. And this is obviously like a classic album. Again, something I feel like is in really good condition for the price. So that was everything that I picked up on my recent trip to Stockholm. I was not planning on buying this many records at all. I thought maybe I'd buy five or so maybe ten but i love shopping i love buying stuff and i was just so was like caught up in the mood of like being on vacation and again like i said a lot of these prices were hey they felt a little too good to pass up on and these are things for the most part that i've been wanting and i am excited to add to my collection at this point i feel like i need to buy I need to get like a new storage like situation because i've just built my collection up so quickly that what i have is already full so and i need something like apartment friendly since I obviously live in apartment so I'm limited a little bit limited on space but anyway if you have any of these albums would love to hear about it and then like or if any of these like resonate with you and are, are your faves for the most part I've listened to almost all of these at some point in my life except for like the Christmas rap one that Romeo on the Sky promo but otherwise these are all things that I like know and love and actually these ABBA albums I've never listened to all the way through but anyway if you happen to be in Stockholm doing any record shopping I would definitely check out all of these places that I mentioned they were all very different from like one from the other had a very different vibe at each of them and obviously very different offerings but but they all kind of had their own thing going on and were serving up what I needed obviously if I walked away from the trip with 15 records anyway if you enjoyed this video don't forget to give me a thumbs up subscribe if you want to see more content from me and thank you so much for watching I'll see you on the next one.